Hello, lovelies. It's she here from Blood and Thread Tarot. I'm here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message is running blessed and full of abundance. I know that this isn't going to be the highest quality because the lighting is not so good right now, but I was really guided to sit down and record a message for you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to work with it. And as soon as I picked up this deck and I started shuffling it, uh, we have some cards falling out here. So we have the King of Pentacles. The Five of Cups, sorry, I'm not up high enough. The Eight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. And on the back of the deck, we have the Five of um, the Five of Pentacles. Wait, did I say that right the first time? I said the Five of Cups the first time, yeah. Hmm. So there is a masculine energy here, whether it not be you or somebody outside of yourself that you might be connecting with. Um. This person is planting seeds. Um, they went through something that was very painful and very hurtful in the past. Very hurtful, is it? <laughs> very painful and very hurtful in the past. Um, it left them for a while in a state of being unable to move away or being unable to unshackle themselves, is what they're saying. Unshackle themselves from the heaviness of what they went through or the heaviness of their trauma or the heaviness of where they grew up or who their parents were or whatever it was that this person went through. It could have been a relationship. It could have been friendships. I'm hearing this person didn't have a lot of, a lot of real people in their life or a lot of real families or real connections or people. They had friends, they had family, but they didn't have people that they really felt really deep, serious connections with. And it kind of left them in this feeling of feeling homesick. Like this person has always felt homesick or this person has always felt on the outskirts or, uh, or misheard or misunderstood. This person went through like, a long time walking in that energy, walking in the energy of feeling um, lost and alone. This person could have lost their mother or they could have lost their, um, somebody very important to them. It could have been like a grandmother. I'm getting like a, a feminine energy. And it was really difficult for this person to, to heal from that. But eventually they did. They spent a lot of their years in, I'm hearing, I'm hearing I spent a lot of years suffering in silence. This person feels like they spent a lot of their life suffering in silence, um, whether that be because they were unable to speak, whether they were actually un unable to speak or the people around them were unable to really, truly be able to listen to them. They felt like their words and who they really are people really didn't see them for who they really are. People didn't really hear, hear the words that they spoke. Um, are they misheard? This, this person always felt like it was hard to communicate with other people because other people just weren't on their wavelength or didn't understand. Um, this person also might have some kind of socialization issues or they might have like some kind of communication issues. Um, they could have some kind of like neurodivergence. But anyway, this person was able to put in a lot of work and time and energy on themselves and they were able to cut away whatever these ties were from the past. They spent the majority of their life feeling this way and then this person said, you know what, like I'm in control of my life. I'm I'm the manifester in my life and I'm going to go on this journey to walk away from these things that truly hold me down, that weigh me down, that um, I have let hold me down from having what I truly want. Because I see this person saying, like, I see that they're showing me the, like, how they're showing me the five of cups again in my mind's eye about how there's two cups left. This person, in their one cup, they want to be able, they're walking away. That's the point of the eight of cups, right? Is the fact that you walk away from something that will already give you eight cups because you know that there's a 10 of cups out there. You know that there's something better out there. Even though you've invested a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of emotion, a lot of your life into feeling or thinking or trying to create something in a very particular way, this person decided to really truly listen to their instincts and listen to 
what their soul was trying to tell them, uh, what was right for them, and they actually um, cut off, cut themselves away. They could have moved away or stepped away. Sorry, my face is really itchy. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a lot of time outside, so the bugs are tearing me up. Um, seven of Pentacles. This person walked away, walked away for a much better place. Cause see, this this person here is showing themselves now as the King of Pentacles, right? Like they're like, now I'm this, but in my past, you know, I had these things that I had to overcome, and I was in sorrow. See how kind of like dark the color scheme is here. And I ended up having to to walk away. This person, it could really be talking about this, like this person going through a dark night of the soul. And then the sun came out in their life when they truly started, when they truly started investing in themselves, when they truly started giving themselves time and patience to grow. And to manifest and to cultivate. See what that spade is? It's like over their, their mind. They really started cultivating a stronger mind to discipline themselves. To be in the, in their conscious thought process. To be in the moment. To consciously walk through life. You know, with their eyes open and with their senses. Oh, you know, their senses being aware of what the truth of, what the truth is. They really started investing in themselves and in their mind. Because they spent a lot of time investing in the 3D. They spent a lot of time investing in what they could feel, you know, what they could like touch and like actually like feel in the 3D world. A lot of material things. And then they realized that the true growth would happen when they, when they cultivated their mind, when they were on the journey inward inside themselves, inside their mind. They, they always wondered like why was focusing on things on the outside, not changing them on the inside. Because they always felt like cultivating things on the outside of them would change how they felt about themselves and about their life. And I'm hearing that um, Tommy Richmond song, that million dollar baby. It's like, because I want to make it, I'm a million dollar baby. I just heard that, those lyrics to that. Yeah. I want to make it so bad. Yeah. And even though this person has spent a lot of time cultivating themselves and do they, they still feel like there's something that is outside of their reach or there's like a cup that they haven't filled yet. But I do believe like this person is feeling like I'm working on myself. I'm balancing out my cup. I'm making sure that I come to, to this situation or, or forward towards something towards another cup, right? Because this person was showing me those two cups that were behind them in the five of cups, how they're turning around and seeing that, hey, you know, I can still have these two cups. I can still have a new beginning. I don't have to be chained down to the past. I don't have to live in the past forever. Yeah. Six of wands. I can have a victory over... This person feels like they won, like, over battling, like, their ego or battling themselves. They felt like they truly elevated... Um, or they're, they're saying they're in the process, you know, they said they're humble enough to know when they're like still, that they're still in the process, but they have, um, shed a, away a lot of their ego. Yeah. And they brought justice to, to themselves. Um, whew, okay. Um, nine of pentacles. They're truly sitting, sitting in a place now where they are very much so growing and investing and they're starting to reap the rewards of this harvest, you know, of that seven of pentacles of spending that time. Something here very significant about this person being at a distance, either from you or being at a distance from somebody that they want. Like even though they invested and even though still too, they're investing all of this energy. Even though they're investing all of this energy in the place where they are now, there is still something that, that they feel unfulfilled with. Not that they're ungrateful for what they have and everything that they've been able to build, but their soul fills them calling for them to like move on to the next level or to manifest in the next level, the next step, the next thing that comes after this, what comes after this. Um...
Um, this person could be could have been dealing with something in the, the legal system or the justice system in some type of way. They could have been trying to get some kind of permits or get some kind of um, stand up for their right. But then that turned into the BC boy stand up to, for your right to party. So this person is like, I've been putting in the work so that I can have like that kind of like party attitude. Like you invest a, a lot to get something started and then you're able to enjoy, you know, and reap the rewards of your investment. That's what this nine of pentacles is about. Will of fortune. Yeah. This person feels like they've been able to turn their life around and now they're feeling the, you know, they're feeling the benefits of all the hard work that they've been putting into themselves. They're really starting to see how investing in themselves has really showed up in their, in their, their 3d life. They're at a point now where all their manifestations, all the work, all the work that they've been doing on the inside is really starting to show on the outside finally. But this person knows um, that there's still more work to be done. There's still more things to accomplish. Um, they were living in a state of feeling like Seven of Cups, of feeling like they weren't sure which direction to go in. Or there was like so many options that it felt like it clouded their path a little bit or it clouded their mind. They were thinking like, okay, so... Oh yeah, so they're showing me they're showing me here like you see how this is the hand, right? It's it's coming out of the smoke and it's like turning the wheel. And they felt like like damn, like once I got myself in alignment and I really aligned up with you know, with my my truth and my authenticity and my life purpose, it feels like so many things just came rolling in that this person almost was just like overwhelmed by how much came into alignment in their life all at once and how amazing it truly was, how many options that they had then, how many choices that they had. Also, it brought in some more challenges, you know, more challenges to working out a busy schedule, more challenges to still find time for their friends, for their family, for themselves, for their body, for exercise, you know, for eating healthy, for um, taking care of children or, you know, relationships or pets or whatever that they have. Um, it's, it's a lot of juggling. A lot of juggling. It's a lot. It's not exactly what they expected or exactly what they wanted. I'm hearing this person say, I don't want to do it alone. So this person is probably in the process right now of looking for people to help them, like to get a team. I'm hearing to get a team together. Yeah. Temperance. They're trying to bring harmony and union to their situation. They're trying to bring some balance in to their situation. They're trying to... They're really giving time and energy to things that bring peace into their life, that help them to have more peace. So if, you know, fi uh, um, finding somebody to help them balance their, you know, to help balance their finances, hiring someone to help negotiate contracts or hiring some, you know, this person is in the process of like outsourcing a lot of things letting go of control, letting go of their need to control and in the process of, of outsourcing some things and saying, okay, like I'm getting to the point now where I need help. Like say this person started a business or like, okay, I need help. I need to start hiring people to help me manage my books, to help me manage my appointments, or maybe they're getting some kind of assistant or something like that, you know, to help them with booking or traveling or uh, I'm hearing a lot of that too. So and this person is like it's uh, this person is like it's getting real, like it's getting serious, like it's really getting serious. This business or this this thing is getting real, like whatever it is. This person walked away from they they decided to make it for themselves. They gotta tell the whole world they're coming, right? Um. <laughs> yeah so so it's good it, they're where they are right now in life is really it's like wow my dreams are actually really good at coming true and yeah so this, this person fills an absence like so this person is looking around looking around their life and there's like like a big ass, like a big like sign or a big like bing, bing. Like they feel that something is missing in the equation and they're looking for that thing that makes them feel like they've truly stepped up 
to claim their position. They feel really in charge, Emperor. They feel really in charge of what's happening right now, what's happening in their life. But there is something that they feel like they're missing, like something to equal them out or something to balance them out. They're missing that something that makes them feel that makes them feel equal. Um, looking for something that can match their abilities or match their power. They could be looking for their like a partner, a business partner, or um, they might have a project in mind that they're trying to give birth to, but they're like, oh, you know, I'm trying to create this. I'm out here, you know, making moves, making deals, but there is something that's missing here. I feel it. Ace of Wands and this person feels like, okay, I've let go of something um, and I need... I hate to say replacement because this person is like, it's not exactly like I need a replacement, but it's like, I know that something in the past is not going to work anymore. I know that I need to upgrade my system or I need to upgrade my, my thought process about this. I need to upgrade my equipment that I'm using. Like, it's like, it's time for the next round. It's time for the next thing that's really going to make a big difference. Why is everybody coming home right now? <laughs> I swear, I've been sitting on my front porch and nobody has been going by. And then I start filming this video and everybody's like, quick! <laughs> yeah, Three of Pentacles. This person... Um, wants to extend a contract or wants to make has really been putting in the work is what I'm getting. This person has been putting in the karmic work to like spirit is saying like basically like putting in the work to be like okay now we see that you're ready for this contract or you're ready for this thing like you've accomplished this and it's like triggering like a new soul progression in their life. Oh my gosh. My face is so... Wait. Page of Pentacles. This person doesn't know exactly how much they're willing to invest in this, but they're like, they're dipping their pinky toe. They're not like jumping in 10 toes down into it quite yet. They're investigating. They're opening up the possibility. Maybe, you know, say this person was trying to diversify. They're not just investing a huge chunk of their money out there in one thing. They're like, a little bit here, a little bit there. I'm taking this class or I'm learning this or I'm reading that. You know, uh, I've hired somebody to teach me how to, how to do this, how to work in investments or how to do that. You know, how to legitimize my business even more um, or legitimize whatever they're doing, whatever they're working on. Um, they're thinking about the future and making like, whatever this new thing is, they're not making huge moves in it yet, but they are making moves. Look at this. Look at this. Not a swords in the Empress. This person is like when they, when they see and when they know what they want, they go for it quickly. This person is like the type of person that scopes it out. So say this person, this, this is just coming to my mind. Say this person wants to buy a new TV or they want to buy an appliance or they want to buy something like that that they're going to invest in or they want to buy a new car or a house. This person is going to spend a lot of time investigating they're going to spend a lot of time investigating and looking into the situation, cross-referencing websites, reading statistics and reviews and all that stuff. But when they know what they want, when they when they see it, they know what they want and they know they have this feeling inside. And it might take them a little bit of time to know what they want or they might invest small into it until they know what they want and then they sh strike fast. They go towards it. Night of Wands, yeah. I don't know why I'm getting like this person could be hiding how passionate they are about the situation. It's like not wanting to. 
it's almost kind of like, oh, I don't want to jinx it. You know, I, I don't want to say, oh, this is it, let's pull the trigger, that's it. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm just going to be cool, chill, lay back. Like, yeah, I want this. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, this will be, that'd be cool. That, you know, we're going to be real chill about it. We're going to get real, we're going to be real chill about it. Uh, this person has nine of, um, nine of swords and the three of cups. This person has anxieties. That strength card they're trying to overcome. Mm. This three of cups. I feel like these three ladies in this three of cups are just like staring down into my soul right now. Like they're just staring and looking at me. I don't know if this person is some kind of something about feeling insecure or being judged, being seen, being looked at. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, say, like, they're showing me a scene where somebody might be they might be out and about somewhere and they see someone that's with a group of people. They're really interested in that one person. They want to go over to that person. They want to shoot their shot. They want to be like, Hey, what's up? But it's going to be kind of intimidating. This person is like, um, surrounded by friends or surrounded by people. For some of you, especially if you want to identify as like this Empress energy, Maybe you and your ancestors or you and your spirit guides are like squatted up. <laughs> and if if it's you this person is looking at, this person is very intimidated by they feel very watched. Like they feel like like make a false move or like mess up and say the wrong thing, mess up and do the wrong thing, come forward with the wrong intentions and you're going to get got. <laughs> you're gonna get got because I also feel like this person could see whatever this they want to they want to go through as not go through but something that they want to get involved with say this isn't a person and say it's like um like a project this person could feel intimidated by the level of work or by people that are already producing products like that are already in the game there's a lot of heavy hitters already in the game out there and they're trying to break into the industry or they're trying to break into this subsection of whatever you know um and so they feel like there's a lot of eyes that are on them there are a lot of people watching them for some of them they could feel like there's people for some of them they could be supporting a family okay and they could feel like there's eyes on them you know there's people watching them there's people waiting for them to fail or like counting on them not to fail you know like there's people that this person has to support you know they have to be strong they have to stand up and they have to be strong But also, I also think whatever this is that they're going through, they see it as something intimidating. Because like, this person wants to go through, wants to go to this, towards this, because it feels like it's their equal, or it's like okay, like this, this is really going to challenge me in a good way. Like this person is just like, yeah, like I really thought of di I really like the thought of diving into this, or learning this, or doing this. Like it seems kind of challenging. It seems like it's going to really push me. It's gonna, you know. So this would be like oh, you know, I'm going to go towards this person. I'm going to say, hey, do you want to collaborate together? Do you want to do this? Or, you know, I'm going to lay out this this proposal during a business meeting and it's intimidating and there's a lot of eyes on me and, you know, I really need to succeed. I really want to succeed because this is something I'm really passionate about. If this is like somebody, maybe this person could be trying to go and get like a loan, a business loan or something from a bank and they're having to put together their proposal, you know, letter and things. And so this person is, is doing things that are you know, they're making, they're making little moves. They're making, you know, they're kind of putting their feet out there. They're, they're, but they're going for it. They're not letting, they're not being intimidating or letting it being a new thing or something they've never tried really hold them back. They really feel like it intrigues them or it like draws them in more than it makes them want to run away or it makes them want to back down or it makes them like, they're not going to allow themselves to feel intimidated to the point where they don't act on it or they don't make a move on it or they don't say something. They're going to say something. 
it just might not be right away. You know, this person might not be the type of person that like sees it and immediately like jumps up and goes for it, you know, without thinking this, this is the person that's going to kind of sit back and watch and kind of, you know, is this, is this an opportunity that I'm really invested in? Like, yeah, I feel the initial draw and the initial want to go towards it or to do it, but that doesn't mean I'm going to, I'm not going to do my research first. I'm not going to look into it. I'm not going to energetically fill it out see how it feels, see if it's something that I really resonate with. And this person is intrigued by it, but this person does feel like it would be a challenge. Queen of Swords. Ooh, Queen of Swords, I knew it. Queen of Swords, again, this is going back to, like, I feel intimidated by this thing, because this thing is like, you better come correct, or I'm going to shing shing, you know? Like, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pop out. <laughs> Sometimes you got to pop out and show them, okay? <laughs> and yeah, that's how this person feels. This, this person is like, if I don't do this the right way, it, it's going to be off with my head. Like, Queen of Rose, it's going to be off with my head. It's not, you know, like, don't fuck around with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it, okay? <laughs> this person is just like, I'm not I'm not supposed to play around with that. Yeah, Six of Cups. But they feel they do feel like, yeah, they feel a kinship in this. Like, yes, this partnership or this, you know, this thing, it feels like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm feeling drawn to it, this project. You know, I want to work on it. I want to do it. This is, you know, um, I feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. There's something here about buying or selling some kind of property right now as well. Nine of Wands in reverse, though. I feel like this person feels karmically drawn to this because there's a lesson to be learned here for this person. There's something that they haven't quite accomplished or a goal they haven't quite reached. I feel like that's why this person feels like, ooh, like this is something I've never done or this is something I've never, um, I've never had to come up against before. And I, I like that. But this person does feel like, you know, a little nervous. Ten of Pentacles, though, this person feels like it could be long lasting. It could be a legacy. It could be prop. It could be very. Um, I'm hearing a profitable proposal, so it's it could be very profitable. This person sees a lot of. They see a lot of dollar signs, and they see a lot of... Something they could keep re reaping the rewards from for a long time to come. Ten of Wands. This is also something this person wants to protect. It's like, oh, this is a, a fantastic opportunity. I want to get into this before somebody else does like i want to invest in this you know this deal this person feels like this opportunity is not going to last forever like this doorway this possibility to connect with this is not going to last forever so that so they know that they need to that it is like a time sensitive thing magician Yeah, four cups. They don't want to miss out. This person does feel like they already have a lot going on, though. It's like, I, ha I already have a lot of stuff going on. And this is just, like, another thing. But it's a thing I don't want to miss out on. But I already have so much on my plate right now. Four of Pentacles, this person could feel like, this person could feel like, again, it's something they feel like holding on to. It's something they don't want to miss the opportunity on. But again, like I said, they feel like they got so much else going on right now. 
This person also feels burdened in some kind of way because when I looked at this pinnacle on their head, I heard heavy is the head that wears the crown. And so this person feels like, what is that? I don't know. Anyway, I don't even know if the uh, if the device picked it up, but that was a crazy sound. Um, there's this kind of energy here where this person is like my like my cup, like my lap is already full, my plate's already full. I have so much that I'm holding on to that I already have going on here. Spirit could also be telling this person, like, hey, you need to actually take some things off of your plate. There's some things that you're holding on to that are actually making it more heavy than, making your load more heavy than it, than you need to. You're carrying, you're still carrying things from the past that could be holding you down. It's funny, too, that Spirit is pointing out to me now that the Empress and the Emperor came out, but also the Four of Pentacles, which is like the pre-Emperor, like an Emperor that hasn't quite stepped up to be all the way of what an Emperor needs to be yet, and also the Nine of Pentacles, which is also like the pre-Empress card, where it's like, you're almost there, you're almost in a place where you are fully developed into your Empress energy, but you're not quite there. So it could be a situation like that because there is like a lesson here where it's like you haven't quite learned this and whatever this thing is, this person is feeling intimidated but excited about, they feel like it's going to level them up. And I feel like there's going to be whatever this is, especially if it's like them collaborating with other people or them, you know, starting a new relationship or them stepping into, you know, whatever it is, even if it's like classes or if it's like you know, starting some kind of endeavor, they're going to be involved with other people. There's going to be other people involved that they're going to have to interact with. And these people are going to be people that are going to help this person upgrade. And these experiences this person is going to go through are going to help them upgrade. Because like I said, they, they feel a lot of Sagittarius energy here, I'm hearing. Um, and you don't have to be a Sagittarius. This person doesn't have to be a Sagittarius to... Um, for that to apply, there's just, it's just kind of like the energy of expansion. It's this really big, like shifting, changing, growing, learning, developing. Look at this. It's the ace, of, it's the ace of cups and the lovers. I can't quite show what's going on in that card. But yeah. And again, there is the the lily, um, lily pads, right? Like the lotus is what I'm trying to say. The lotus flower <laughs> Bl blooming onto the surface out of, you know, the mud. And, and a lot of time, you know, um, the l lotus, you know, growing out of the mud is a, sim a symbol of, you know, leaving behind our karmic past, going through our dark night of the soul. Uh, growing up, you know, bringing our consciousness out of the depths of the murky waters, you know, and bursting onto the surface and our lotus flower, you know, unfolding and um, spiritual growth, you know, an overflowing abundance. And this feels like to me, like a combination between the kind of four of cups energy here that we were seeing before where it's like, this is the cup that you're being offered. Um, this just, yeah. Like spirit is like, this just ain't no ordinary cup. And you're like, I got so much going on. And spirit's like, nah, fam, nah, fam. You're going to want to, you're going to want to drop some of that other shit. Okay. Because this cup. Yeah. And, I, and like I said earlier, this person realizes that they feel the significance of it. They're like, this I might need to make room for. This I might need, you know, I might need to let go of some things to um, to be able to do this, you know. I might have to rearrange my schedule to be able to make this work. But it's an opportunity that I do not want to miss. Yeah. Because this person sees this as wish fulfillment. Come on now. Huh? 
Oh yeah, it was at the back of the deck. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, how did the Nine of Pentacles come out again? But yeah. Um, wow. Look, because this person showed themselves as the King of Pentacles. Now they're pulling their match, the Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, this feels like some. This is, feels like I met my match. I met my equal. Whatever it is, I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm supposed to be involved in this. Uh, high Priestess, my like my instincts, my gut, my everything is telling me go towards this, do this. You don't want to miss out on this. This person sees this as, if it's a person, it could be, it's somebody that, I'll just say, whatever this opportunity, this experience is, this person sees it as an opportunity to come face to face with a lot of like magical experiences. There's something here about this high priestess that's giving me like, because the magician did show itself earlier, but it's giving me this kind of magical feel. It's this very kind of like, almost like supernatural feeling, but it, uh, like in a good way though. This kind of feeling that It's this feeling of mystery. And this person really likes that. They like this this feeling of mystery, this feeling of like, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but I kind of like that. I kind of like that feeling. Yeah, I'm hearing this person say life has become too predictable. They're like, my life is a little too predictable. I need something different. I need something to switch it up. I need something to add a little bit of zest a little bit of flavor. Interesting. Something significant about the fall here as well. You can meet this person in the fall or this. King of Swords, that's so funny because I just heard like harvest. And then this King of Swords has is using their sword to like harvest this wheat. Yeah, this person is saying, I'm interested in prosperity. I'm interested in something that I can invest. Six of Pen Six of Pentacles, yeah. This person is interested in there being this person is uh, putting a lot of emphasis on there being an equal exchange. On it being equal, on it being, on it being fair, on it being like, I'm not just giving to you, you know, you're not just um, giving to me. But there is something, excuse me, but there is something that... This person is a very, like, hands-off person. So they're showing me, like, a situation here where it's, like, in the past, they were in a situation where they overgave too much. So this person's a little sensitive about about investments, which is why they were showing up as that page of pentacles. It's like, I, I'm not going to invest, like, all the way. Like, if you play hands-off, then I'll play hands-off, too. If you play, I'm not text you, then I won't text you, too. Like, something like that where this person is kind of just, like, I'll invest as much energy as I feel like I need to into something. Ooh. 
Oh my gosh, excuse me, guys. This person is definitely worried, yeah. Nine of Pentacles. This person is definitely worried about a situation repeating itself from the past. So this person's like... This person's saying, like, they're okay with taking it slow. Or there's something here in this situation that seems like it's going to take a while to develop or take a while to come about. But then when they commit, they, they fully commit to something. And they put a lot of hard work into it. It just might, yeah. To the point where it could become burdensome, actually. So this person is slow to commit, but then once they do, they commit wholeheartedly and they, they go from... not I wouldn't say 0 to 100, but it's like... Once uh, again, like this person said earlier, once I know I'm ready to commit, I'm in, I'm in, I'm all in, and I know, and I show up. Um, because of their past, this person is a person who is slow to put burdens on themselves. So they are not the type of person to say no when they really want to say yes. They're not, they're the type of person to be very honest and be like, I'm busy. I'm booked and busy for the next like couple of months, but then I would love to do something or actually I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have time for it right now, but just touching base with you would love to do something with you in the future. And this person will, they will come back around, but um, it is kind of a situation where it's like, also it is a situation where this person really prioritizes their time. So if they make time for you, don't underestimate the amount of time they make or the amount of time that they're willing to invest. Yeah, again, there's 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 some type of distance here. Again, it could be um, this person could work a lot or they could travel a lot or, uh, again, like with this, just having a lot on their plate. A lot of eyes on them, a lot of people depending on them. That's what I'm hearing. So... It's kind of a situation where this person is, is saying, like, you might want to spend, you know, two hours with this person or talking to this person, but they might only have 30 minutes. But please understand that to give you those 30 minutes, they rearrange their whole schedule to be able to give you 30 minutes. They might have cut something else off the list to be able to give you 30 minutes. So there's something here about not underestimating the time or the energy or the focus this person gives you. But I would never say, especially if this is like a romantic situation or something like that, you know, if this is business or something like that, you know, like take it a little bit more lightly. Um, but unless it comes to like a pay or something like that, then yeah, no, uh, be serious about that to get your contracts right and everything like that. But I would say, you know, um, I would never tell somebody, oh, well, if you're unhappy with the amount of time or energy somebody can give you, stay and just be understanding. No, I would say, you know, um, if it's something that's a serious issue or a serious problem from you, then maybe think about being in a different relationship, even if this person is 
someone that you really like, you know, if they don't have time for a relationship or they don't have time for you or they don't have time to show up for you in the way that you want them to, I would say don't compromise what you truly want, but also don't devalue what they do have to bring to the table. You know, so I would say, I know I really appreciate you being able to, to get that or to do that and I understand how much you had to give, but that's not, I'm just not in a position right now where that's enough. You know, maybe even it could be a situation where you're getting like an amazing opportunity, but it's not giving you the pay or it's not giving you the, the accolades or it's not giving you the, it's not quite giving you what you're exactly looking for. I'm really not getting the, the advice that you should settle, you know, if something is really bothering you or something is really, you know, not up to your standard or something is just not quite right, you know, um, now I'm not saying don't compromise. It's, just, it's like, find a balance, find a balance in this. That's a, a really big issue is that you need to know that it's important for you to feel comfortable and for you to feel um, like you're getting what you need out of the situation. And that, that's exactly how this person feels too, because this person would kind of be in a situation where you came to them and you're like, I'm not getting what I'm getting out of the situation. What I need out of the situation, if, there's no, if this person knows they can give you more attention or give you more time or give you more energy or give you more money, whatever the situation is, you know, um, if they can afford to do it and they can do it and they see that, say it's a product or something like that, um, this person is willing to pay the price. They're willing to to pay you what you're worth, you know, and make sure that you're not compromising and taking less. But also the circumstances might not be the ideal. So compromise, this part, so Spirit is saying compromise is important, but know that, you know, you don't have to overly people please and compromise. Um, page of Wands, this road is going to be long. You're at the very beginning. Um, you're going to be learning a lot along the way. You're going on this journey here, like Queen of Wands, yeah. You're going on this grand journey here to, to find your right place and to find where you're supposed to be and to find some kind of like new passion or new... You're, ch you're doing something to change your situation, Spirit is saying. You're, you are having the time, energy, money, um, whatever it is that you need to accomplish what, you, what your goals are. You're going to be given that, whatever it is. You're going to be finding that. For somebody here, there's something about uh, motivation, finding a new like passion or a new spark of motivation to do something. Page of Swords. You could learn some kind of new information or there is some kind of tower moment here that's happening that's going to create an opening create a possibility to create like a an opportunity here to see things clearly and to know in which direction that you want to take things and where you want to go the sun exactly Yeah, I'm hearing Spirit say that things might look a little bit different than you expected. They might feel a little bit different. They might look a little bit different. The circumstances might be 
You know, the details of it are not what's as important or it's not as important as like the overall experience that you're going to have here. And if you let go of any kind of control issues or things that you have around the situation, around it looking or feeling or about a particular time that it's supposed to happen in, if you let this, if you let go and you allow things are going to actually change quite rapidly. Like the more you get into the floor, flow, the more you let go, the more you go with the flow, things will feel much closer. Okay, that's what I have. My throat chakra is doing some weird stuff. So you might have some movement and communication or like for now, there could be some kind of, I don't want to say a block in a communication, but it's kind of like a pause, a, a pause in communication or a pause in <coughs> forward movement being like exactly what you want it to be in this moment right now, but it will come. What you want will come. Yeah, that might be why you or this person could be feeling without. Look at that. Look at that. I opened it straight onto the king and the queen of wands. I have to in two different places on here. And it's the king and the queen of wands. Oh, look, that king of wands is looking at that queen of wands like, I know what I want. Which is funny too with the with her like holding the sunflower there. Here, see like holding the sunflower there in between them and then look with the sun card with the sunflower in between them. The fuck's over there? Ain't nothing supposed to be over there. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> anyway, there's there's animals and cats and all kind of stuff around here, so So What? Yeah, there was something significant here about the Two of Swords. Themes could, things could feel slightly unclear to you right now. Yeah. <laughs> but trust. The Ten of Cups is coming. That Ten of Cups is coming. Yeah. And with this judgment here being like the 10-10, ten, ten, like the 20 card, right? There's like 10 and 10. It's coming. Yeah, the chariot card right after that. It's coming. There's a lot of things that you don't see right now. But it's it's the plan for you to not see it right now. And that's okay. You're good. There, there are certain things that aren't supposed to be seen. Um, whoops. <laughs> my bad. There could also be a situation here where it's like, It's a kind of a situation where it's like, if it's like two people trying to come together, it could be a situation here where like one person knows one thing, the other person knows a different part of the situation or knows a different part of the plan is what Spirit's saying. Like, you have a part of the plan, this other person has a part of the plan, like, and y'all are both like, what is this big missing piece that I don't understand here? And it's really in the process of having this experience with this other person that that missing piece is going to be like, ah, or this experience, whatever it is. If it's a person, it's a person. If it's a job, if it's a class, if it's whatever it is, it's something where spirit is showing me that piece, like falling into place. And you're just like, oh, I understand now. I get it now. I see what it really is now. Yeah, it's like the next step of your journey. Um... Yeah, some of you go check that out. I do have a, I do have a pick a card reading on here that's about the next the next stage of your journey, the next step in your journey. 
Um, go check that out if you guys feel so called to do it. I'll try to remember to link it around. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, you know, the visuals aren't exactly what matters the most, right? It's just you guys listening to me and all the endless streams of cars going by my house. <laughs> Woo, I'm itchy. The bugs, the bugs, they got me all. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys so very much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. As always, I hope that you guys are feeling blessed and full of abundance. Thank you to your ancestors, spirits, guardians, and guides for leading you here to this video to get this information. Okay? Thank you to my spirits, angels, guardians, and guides for being here, helping me to deliver this information so as keeping me safe when they did so. I appreciate you guys as always. Like, subscribe, share if you feel like it could help somebody else. If you feel called to get a personal reading with me, my contact information is down below. Okay? And um, I'll see you lovelies in the next one, okay? Bye!